Hello and welcome to Something by Hannah. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for joining me for this 12 weeks of Christmas project. This is my advent calendar for this year. Um, I make an advent calendar every year and I will link last year's um, on the, the coordinating blog post and the link to that is in the down bar below. Um, and this is this year's project. It's so cute. It's actually, it's not going to sit like this <laughs> at all. Um, although you could quite easily join these boxes together um, like this almost um, and just have it as a permanent thing. These ones I've actually got holes punched in uh, ready for some of our new gold cording and they're going to hang on my Christmas tree. Um, but I, I don't believe this. I have ordered twice this week or last week ready for this video. And I forgot to add the gold cording in. So I've got some Whisper White Baker's twine for video purposes, but it will be gold cording. And if I remember, I will take a picture uh, of it when I get it up on my tree. Because it is only October, I haven't got my tree up yet. Um, so I haven't got them hung. <laughs> but that is where they're going to go. So I'm going to move these out of the way and I will show you exactly what I did to make them. So, the start of the boxes is our tiny treat boxes. Now, these are fabulous. You get 25 in a packet, because there's 25 days of Advent. <laughs> um, and they are, I think, less than £7 for 25 which is awesome value. They come folded like that, um, and they're really, really super easy to assemble. So, all you've got to do is fold on all of the score lines. like so do like a quick and easy project this whole thing took the, the previous 24 took me about an hour to put together and then all you have to do is you fold this piece here in first and then the two side pieces and then this one it's like a little arrow you need to push straight down and it will lock into position let me do that again so we'll try it from a different angle. Try it from directly above. So we're going to push that flap down first, then the two sides, and then that one, and then you just keep pushing until it locks. Super simple. So I'm going to take it all apart again. Oh, now I'm showing you how to put it together to put our DSP on. I have used the Season of Chia Designer Series paper, and you need four pieces for each box that measure one and three quarter inches by one and three quarter inches or 4.5 centimeters by 4.5 centimeters and i i say four you need five pieces <laughs> brain's not working this morning and i'm going to use my fast fuse to stick these on for all of the 25 boxes i've used five sheets of designer series paper um, it looks like I've used more than that because there are several different patterns. But as you can see from this pattern, it has got the um, snowflakes on one side and the bulbs on the other. And I've used both patterns on some boxes. Certain boxes, like the baubles and things, you need to be aware of what um, direction you're putting things in. Um, not so much with snowflakes. And then you will notice the front panel has this little handy little finger hole. What we're going to do is we're going to, we are going to stick our piece of designer series paper over the top. <laughs> but there is still a bit of a finger hole for you to get your thumb into to open the box. Can you see that? Just there. Yeah, you can. So that is our box assembled. The next thing is our hole punch. I've got the one quarter, the, sorry, yeah, the quarter inch handheld punch. And if you look inside the box, you will see that there is a seam. We're not going to use that corner because it's too hard. We're going to punch a hole in this corner here. And it's the only way to do this is when it's flat. So we're going to just punch. And you do need some serious welly for this. What I found the easier to do is to punch it first so that you've got two indentations. Then you can use those indentations to line up the next 
two holes and then they are in line with each other my other top tip when you're doing this is make sure that your hole punch is empty before you start because the fuller your hole punch gets the more difficult it gets to punch or mine does anyway so that is our box completed we're going to assemble so we're going to put our I, don't, I call it the legged piece when I'm doing this in my head but I think that's just probably in my head I think it probably should stay there down first the two sides and then the arrow piece straight down fold in the lid and there is our cute little box mine are going to hang like this so let's let's get our piece of um whisper white out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to thread my whisper white through oh this might have been easier to do when it was uh closed as well let's let's open the box that might, be, that might work better there we go one and through there we are. Close my box back up. And um, the way I'm going to tie these is I'm going to put both the ends together and then like that. And it's probably a bit long for on the tree, but you get the idea. So they're going to hang like that on our tree. I think it's super cute. Um, with obviously the bottoms aren't covered so that will go at the back and then I've got some numbers to go on and I thought about stamping and I stamped last year and it took ages this year in our project life section of the catalogue we have got the hello December project life kit and it comes with these fabulous vellum stickers <laughs> I know I'm not the only one to use these on my advent calendar this year um, and they're wonderful they're absolutely gorgeous like vellum gold beautiful and you, or you get some extra ones as well that have got trees and stars and things presents things on we're only going to use numbers 1 to 25 because it's advent so what we're going to do, i've got a piece of wistful white cardstock and i'm just going to stick the sticker straight on a piece of wistful white like so and i've got my one inch circle punch straight out of there how quick and easy was that and then all I need is a dimensional on the back and then that's going to go straight on the front and that is my advent calendar project for this year and it's done <laughs> oh oh you know there's always there's always one isn't there it always falls apart at the last minute i've dropped one but that that you get the idea that is my advent calendar project for this year thank you ever so much for watching and i'll see you again next week bye for now